Today's presentation is sponsored by Bailey's Bistro. Great lunches and dinner, live entertainment on the weekend, and make sure you check out their brunch. Located on Wolf Drive. Folks, are out with New Home Tube. Tonight we're at the Andy Warhol exhibit at the Fort Lauderdale Museum of Art. We're featuring cars, basically his work from the early 60s, right around the Campbell Soup era. Let's take a look around, meet some of the people that run the operation here at the museum. And I uh, have a little fun. Get a couple cocktails and some wine, baby. <laughs> well, today is our Studio 54 uh, party for, our, for our, our museum members. And it's for the opening of the, of the, of the uh, our new estate exhibit, uh, Warhol and Cars, American Icons. Dr. Hanbury, can you tell us about your uh, party? Oh, well, the university wants to integrate with the museum for our students. We have 28,000 students. We're the sixth largest private non-profit university in the nation. So 80% of our students are graduate students, however, only 20% undergraduate. And we don't have a football team, but we are very interested in art. <laughs> if you want to find out more information, call the number below. Right Thanks. on Las Olas. Las Olas and Andrews Avenue. Right. So how long will Andy Warhol to the end? Until the middle of February. Oh, great. Great. Okay. So come back again. Yeah, so so keep coming board, back. Come down for a vacation. Come on down. Check it out. We'll be here when you get here. Right. Constantly changing. Thank you for your time, gentlemen. Thank you so much. Right, guys. I appreciate it. Thank you. Coca-Cola, Studio 54. He was always adding that extra touch and dimension to make things come alive. Thanks for joining us as we walk you through this wonderful exhibit. Andy Warhol was famous for his repetition of the images. That's what he used to bring people's focus and attention onto it. So what you wouldn't necessarily see in one, you would see in the other. Here are the police cars that Andy did. And again, you can see the way he heightened Oh, this is my favorite with the Cadillacs. And Andy just loved cars. He didn't drive, but he loved cars. Who wouldn't like to ride in the back of a Cadillac? This is Andy Warhol at work, and what he classically did was he had other people do the grunt work and the silk screening. He was more of the art director who told people what kind of colors to use, perspective, and he would direct the art. He didn't actually do it himself, but he got the credit because it was all about composition and the formulation of the idea. Did you ever watch Mad Men? It's like uh, the the TV show about the uh, 1960s advertising right, industry. The advertising, right. And I remember they have an episode about lemon, and I can I do remember this vaguely in my childhood about the lemon ad. What year was this? In fact, right here it says 1960, 1960 Volkswagen. Oh, gee whiz, there okay, you go. So it's a 1960 Volkswagen, and when the Volkswagen first came out, it was very controversial. People were worried that it would be a dangerous car. People were afraid to buy it. So he called it the Lemon before anybody else would, and that overcame that objection. Of course, it but it's green. Very... Why would you call it a lemon if it's green? Well, <laughs> again, everything else is lemon but the lemon. Now, over here shows a car crash, and it shows uh, again James Dean in that car. his fascination with death. This was one of Andy Warhol's famous uh, themes, and for those who don't know, he was shot by a disgruntled person who wanted him to make them a star. This is a car crash. 
I wonder why. And this is a nice simple concept design. Beautiful art, simplicity. 1962 Lincoln Continental. Now here you have a 1957 Cadillac uh, wannabe designer proposal, concept car. If you notice back here on the back end, how extravagantly outcut the window well, wheel wells are. And uh, you know what, I think the designer came along, the chief designer, and he says, you know what, if you just draw a line across here and cover all that up, I think you'll have something. And that's what happened basically, and ever since you, well up until the uh, like 70s, you had what they called fender skirts on your Cadillac. There's a styling sensation with its fiberglass body and rakish design. He painted seven versions of this car, and this was done in 1972, 1962 rather. It's silk screen ink on linen, and this is from a private collection. It's very interesting. You know what I like about this car is that you have the wraparound back window. Uh, it actually looks like the uh, styles of the late 70s, mid 60s to late 70s, like a Camaro. It definitely resembles a Camaro up here in the front. And uh, the back end with the uh, wrap around bumpers. Because then he did Campbell's suit dresses that you can get from like 10 labels for Campbell's suit. Uh -huh. I like the male one. Uh -huh. And he wore all dolls. You can pet this one. Uncle Andy. I don't remember these as a child. Uncle Andy's cats. Poor Andy Warhol. Plants in a can. See, this is more what he's famous for, Campbell's soup. You put those like on your refrigerator and stuff. Right. So, but you don't get enough at home. Yeah, right. Huh? <laughs> oh my God, it's you! <laughs> So what made you want to be Richard Nixon for the evening? He's from the 70s. Yeah, right. We went to college in Baltimore, so we used to spend all our time with the visit Tricky Dick all the time. Oh, yeah. Thanks for having us. We appreciate it. It was a wonderful show, and have a good night. <laughs>